Weaver, writer for Lars Erickson Board Company, based out of Shawnee, Kansas, where I am currently living. Um, however, I am from uh, Northern California. So, um, I'm here today to show my friends of YouTube uh, what boards I am writing. Uh, the setups and uh, what boards I have. And... Alright, so first up we have uh, just my basic skateboard. I use it uh, on like my kicker and my box, and my rail, and my quarter pipe. You know, skateboard and stuff. I don't know why I had to mention that. That's usually what skateboards are for. Um, it's got some checkered superior grip tape. Um, it's just a blank deck, uh, it was like 20 bucks, it has some venture trucks, uh, it's got some stock bushings, uh, Spitfire wheels with ABEC 5 bearings. Alright, so here we have my Pride and Joy, my original Apex 40, wait for it. Double concave. Uh, we have stock grip tape from original. I'm going to change it out with some vicious when I can get some more money soon, which I'm working on. Uh, right now I have these, uh, I'm pretty sure they're called like speed drifter things. I just call them like drifters or whatever. Uh, they are uh, side set, so yeah side set. I was given them by my awesome sponsor, Lars Erickson Board Company. I will uh, give you a link to his Facebook page and Lars's Facebook page. So his board company and his Facebook page. If you live in the Johnson County, Kansas City area, you can uh, uh, add his uh, page and add him on Facebook and then you can message him. He can make you customs for a cheap price. Uh, he does decks and he can also grip them for you. Alright, for a little extra, just like any company would though. Um, so yeah, Apex 40 here with our Adam Colton edition Paris trucks with Otang nipple bushings which are orange so they're the softer kind and we just have the uh uh it's, it's, i think it's sector nine hardware it's like an inch and something yeah we also have the uh, original pk nose guard stands for pumped up kicktail nose guards uh if you live in the kansas city johns county area you can head over or if you live in uh, like Lenexa around there, head over to Ride Forever uh, All, Amer All American Sports Complex. They have a nice longboarding section. You can go in there, pick them up, and uh, they're about twenty, thirty dollars. They also have Apex Forties and Paris trucks. So here we have my latest and newest board from Lars Erickson Board Company. It is a chopped board that he made for me, but the neck did snap. It was a terrible accident, um, but he did chop it for me, no cost at all, so that was nice. Um, we just have some standard clear grip here, with just some stripe grip for look. I don't think it's uh, any special grip. But um, here is my foot stop. I just have, uh, I'm using a, uh, it's like a little screwdriver bit holder. I'm just using that on the Sector 9 2 inch hardware. Um, and then, whoops, here I have a, a kick tail or sick tail add on to the board, which I think just gives it extra steez. I put this attachment on today, 
It was no cost at all. It took about five minutes. I just took a board I had laying around and then came up with a stencil outline. Hold on a sec. Yeah. I just drew a stencil outline thing and then lined it up on the board, traced it on the board, and cut it out with a jigsaw. Make sure you wear safety glasses. And yeah, I can do a tutorial on that if you want me to. Please leave a comment in the description if you would like me to do a tutorial on that. Okay, back to the board. Lars Erickson original board that's chopped. And this is skateboard kicktail. On to the trucks. On the trucks, I have uh, on the trucks I have Sector Nine Mission Ones with Sector Nine risers that I really like. Here, I'll get a close up on this. Here's what I like here: these risers. They, if you have these standard kingpin trucks here, where the kingpin goes on the inside of the board, see that it's not on the outside like a reverse kingpin, which most downhill and free ride boards have. Um, that's reverse kingpin, this is standard. What these risers do is they are thicker at the front and then get thinner on the inside, giving the kingpin more of a tilt, um, which a lot of, uh, change the degree angle, like a lot of reverse kingpin trucks do, and that's how they function. And so this gives it a nice smoother carve and slide with uh, the board. So, it's really nice. And, uh, uh, the wheels, they're just, uh, I don't know exactly what kind of wheels they are, but they are Sector 9 wheels. They came on my Sector 9 Pintail Complete. Same with these Mission 1s, but I rotated my Mission 1s off the Sector 9 onto this because, uh, I felt it's an improvement for this board. And also, uh, I am using ABEC 5 bearings. Here is my Sector 9 Pintail. Uh, it has standard Sector 9 grip tape. Nice Sector 9 logo. Um, yeah, it's just Pintail. Um, on them are uh, Sector 9 hardware standard. These uh, going sidewinders, double kingpin. These trucks are pretty interesting. Uh, if you've ever seen them, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I originally had these on a drop through board, but then I uh, didn't like them, so I put them on this pintail and uh, put them on the chopped one. So here you can see it's a. I'll put it here. Here you can see the double kingpin. One kingpin, two kingpin. It's really interesting. Uh, what it does is it's more for like a carve, like a pintail kind of ride. When you're riding, uh, your standard turn, it's just the top kingpin. But when you're getting a real tight turn, that's when both kingpins kick in for the turn. So, here, top kingpin and then second kingpin come in for a turn. Uh, I am riding Red's bearings and Sector 9 nine ball wheels. Here we have a Lars Erickson original board with so many stories behind it and uh, you can see what I mean about it. But first we'll talk about the board. Uh, it's just a standard drop through kind of speed board type deal for free ride or whatever with standard grip it has a nice Jesus Christ uh, symbol on the bottom but this is when the stories kick in it has a total of 13 wood screws combined into it where you can see this chunk in it that makes it look like the state of Kansas I just bite out of it uh, this was when I was racing a friend down a hill uh, we had to slide at the bottom I ran into a gutter going about 30, 35, and so uh, here is sort of a nose guard that also pinches the wood together so it doesn't delam more than it already kind of is. Um, 
and this is just to reinforce the neck because after the injury it does kind of have a little crack in it but it still holds pretty well uh, I, I would be riding this board more but I'm not uh, I would more if it was longer I prefer a nice longer board with kind of kicktail options but uh, yeah uh, if you want to buy it um, just send me a message in the description and uh, if you live in the Kansas, Kansas area I can sell it to you for fifteen twenty dollars here we have my downhill board um, it's currently spray painted covering up the original uh, graphics and all that stuff because it was um, through a lot I was given it to it was given to me by Andrew Priest writer for language and ride forever uh, if you live in the Kansas City area that's a store I was talking about and their team is language and they'll be coming out pretty soon so yeah um, here as you can see spray painted on it is DDK which stands for dirty downhill kids it is also on the back get the DDK movement going guys but the actual deck is a coastal something I don't know what it is I was just given it was given to me I asked what kind of board it was he said it was a coastal but we don't know the exact name it is my downhill board and I currently don't have a setup on it because I don't have the trucks and wheels or bearings for it but I'm gonna get the money for it I could use my Paris's or my mission ones or my sidewinders but you know uh, I do live in Kansas so there's not too many like bombing and downhill things to do around here and I do prefer more of a fast free ride kind of deal yeah alright so here we're gonna finish it off with kind of a comedic ending uh, here we have a chopped birdhouse for a slalom slash penny slash cruiser it's got the kicktail and everything with some clear grip tape, it's standard, you can get it right forever. Um, with uh, this truck is actually a independent truck, and this one is a Walmart truck. I feel it is a perfect kind of truck because this one comes up at a 90 degree and this one comes out at more of a 45-ish degree or 60 degree-ish um, so we have a nice back carve control on the kicktail with some front little uh, drift deal so yeah it's fun for slalom and cruising and that kind of stuff